Hello, hey, hi, how you doing? I'm Pat Glover, and if you stumbled upon this video, that means you're interested in resources online for cybersecurity, specifically free ones. Now, there are hundreds of resources online, on the internet, whatever you wanna call it, that are available to you. It's the great thing about technology and the way everything has progressed. We don't necessarily have to focus on books. Um, books are still great, but all of these are at your fingertips giving you knowledge in the cybersecurity space if you're interested in either getting into the field or just improving your existing knowledge within the cybersecurity space. So real quick, I don't wanna belabor and draw this out so that you have to wait to get to each independent uh, resource that I'm going to describe. So outside of in including in the description, I'm gonna have a breakdown of skipping to each section for the resources. I'm gonna go ahead and just point them all out to you real quick. So cyberay.it. SANS Cyber Aces, Center for Internet Security, Stanford Online, Schneier on Security, Zeltzer Cheat Sheets, Fed VTE, and last but not least, Stop Think Connect. Now, all of these are great free resources and I gave a mix of things, not just learning platforms. Because there's more to cybersecurity than just studying and learning, you wanna keep up to date on other things outside of what's trying to prove upon yourself from a technical perspective, right? You wanna look at blogs, you wanna look at benchmark standards if you're already working for an existing organization to better protect that organization. So now that we've listed those out, let's jump right into number one, cyberary.it. Now, cyberay.it is essentially an online training platform that focuses on cybersecurity. They have a free version and a paid version. Personally, I myself do use the paid version and I've used it for a long time studying for certifications such as the CISSP, the CISM, the CEH, what have you. If you have the money and you are really serious about increasing your knowledge within cybersecurity, I highly recommend considering the paid platform, but at the same time, the free portion of it does offer a lot and it allows you to increase your cybersecurity skills. Along those lines, you can pick different roadmaps. If you wanna be a cybersecurity analyst, if you wanna be a cybersecurity engineer, CISO, whatever it is, they have a career path and a career plan that allows you to build these out and take the right courses and gain the right knowledge to get you into those roles. I think it is wonderful and I highly recommend you checking it out. Next is the SANS Cyber Aces. SANS is one of the most trusted and largest security organizations in the world hosting conferences, courses, etc. And their courses themselves are typically very expensive. That's the kind of course you want to take if your organization is paying for it after you're already in the security field or if you're working in an IT field and they're willing to pay for it anyways. Now, the SAN Cyber Aces essentially is taking snippets of different tutorials, webinars, resources, toolkits, what have you, and giving it to you free to help you get the fundamentals of cybersecurity and how to defend information systems. It is a great resource and I highly recommend you checking that one out along with cyberay.it. Next is neither a blog or a training resource. It is the Center for Internet Security. CIS security essentially is one of the gold standards in security benchmarks, um, tool sets, all sorts of things within the security space. They're very well known and reputable and I highly recommend checking out their site because there are all sorts of free resources, links, references, uh, anything that you can think of in the cyberspace, it has it and it's pretty good to check out, especially if you're already working for an organization. Next up are two blogs, Schneier on Security and Lenny Seltzer Cheat Sheets. Bruce Schneier is probably one of the leading experts in the security space and has been around for a long time. He has written a ton of books and his blog essentially keeps up to date notes, if you will, on the cybersecurity space. It is a great resource if you just want to keep your knowledge current and check out all kinds of things happening within the world. Lenny Seltzer Cheat Sheets is a little different in that he creates these snippets and in infographics really on different aspects and um, phases of cybersecurity if you're wanting to look at, say, something like doing some sort of hack, doing some sort of action, getting a piece of information quickly on a specific topic within cybersecurity, he tends to have information like that and I think it is wonderful. Last but not least, these are two bonus ones I'm providing and I did mention them. FedVTE is essentially a virtual training environment for government, so federal government, 
state and local government employees that can access this and get free training resources for all types of things in the cybersecurity space. Um, be it certification training, be it general knowledge, if you're just wanting to improve something or get some answers on something, you have access to all of this at your fingertips if you're a local, state, or federal government employee. The other one is DHS Stop Think Connect. Now, this is really more or less an awareness campaign that the Department of Homeland Security has been working on for a long time. And I put this one on here more or less so you can recommend it to others to keep them up to date and aware of cybersecurity because one of the biggest things in the cyberspace is security awareness building that culture of security and really making people stop and think before they connect to a system, right? Uh, phishing, training, stuff like that. It's, it's huge in the industry and if you get into the cybersecurity space, you will understand how important that is. I mean, 93% of almost all breaches within an organization is because of phishing, which can be diverted from security awareness training and affecting a security culture in an organization and behavior. So, with that being said, we have taken a look at a number of free resources within the cybersecurity space. I hope you found this information useful. I hope you're excited as much as I am, and I hope you are eager to jump in there and go start using some of these resources. I'm Pat Glover. Thanks for stopping by. If you like the content, smash the like button and drop a subscribe for me. Thanks.